Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be reacting to The Haunting of Bly Manor Season 1 Episode 2 titled The Pupil. Once again, I'm so excited to be reacting to this show. I loved Hill House if you didn't see my first reaction, which you probably should go back and watch that before you watch this one. But if you haven't watched my first reaction, just mentioning the fact that I loved Hill House and I loved everyone in it and this show is no exception. I also love everyone in this show and in the last episode we were introduced to all the main characters. We have Danny Clayton who is played by Victoria Pedretti who obviously was in The Haunting of Hill House and her character is such a sweet bean. She's amazing. She is the au pair slash governess slash whatever you want to call nanny to the two kids in Bly Manor and she was just hired and she just started working there and we met like Mrs. Groves I believe her name was which I don't really she was the housekeeper I guess and then we met Owen who is the chef and we met Jamie who's the gardener but we didn't really meet her yet we haven't like had any real um content of her yet even though I know that her and Danny are supposed to you know be something and I'm very excited for that so you know hopefully in this episode we'll get a little taste of that coming up but basically in the last episode it was just setting the scene of Bly Manor and we just saw that the kids were kind of little shits to be completely honest <laughs> they're they're good but they're also super creepy and we learned that the previous um, au pair was she died she committed suicide I think right but she walked into the lake and uh, there was apparently a ghost in the premises that that the little girl Flora um, calls the lady of the lake or the lady in the lake um, very King Arthur of you but whatever and we've yet to see that ghost so maybe we saw in the last episode too there was like footprints that were leaving out of the house like it looked like someone had walked through with like muddy feet so like maybe that's the ghost and in the last episode also the kids like locked Danny into a closet and she keeps seeing this um, like figure specter thing in mirrors and she like has a thing about mirrors so that's not great um, but yeah I'm just super excited for the second episode so without any further ado let us jump into episode two can't wait for more Danny content honestly that's what I'm here for the housekeeper was no stranger to muddy footprints always the same path from the door to the forbidden wing and back again that's creepy these muddy footprints creeping me out. The door got stuck and the mess in the hall. It's just a little mud. They're like, oh, it's just the ghosts walking through here with their bare muddy feet. It's not a big deal, lady, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna work, Ooh, bitch. Geez, not me. That was entirely unacceptable and now you are going to finish mopping. But that's not fair. Yeah. It's just a bit of mud. Yeah, oh, she's punishing these children. Even though the guy, what's his name, Harry, or the, the Winthrop Winchester, whatever his name is. <laughs> what's his name? He was like, Miles needs a bit of discipline. She's doing it. I mean, every few weeks, there's like these two off in a midnight run, and Muggins here is left to mop up their mud. I mean, it's clearly not them. Like... Somebody's brother threw their doll down the laundry chute. Of course. Mm. Oh my god, her outfits are just perfectly splendid. <laughs> I really don't want to see any ghosties down here though, please Brothers and thank you. can be perfectly dreadful sometimes, can't they? Oh, it landed. It landed. Sitting up. Great. This is how I cope with scary things. <laughs> Laugh through the pain. Oh god, there's a bunch of freaking dolls in the cellar. I don't like dolls. I don't like them. Holy shit. Oh. What's her name? Miles? Why are you being a creepy creep Miles? today? Um, but why was Matthew being so contrarian? Who's contrarian? It means he was being a tit. Hey, 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 hey. language, language, gentlemen. <laughs> Final one. <laughs> See, evil exists. And we are tempted. But we're not He's convinced. tempted. He looks very tempted, okay? He looks like a demon child. So yes. Alright, gentlemen. Wingrave. Uh, quick word. Wingrave, that's the last name, not Winthrop or Winchester or whatever it was that I said. Wingrave. 
but I'm here, as are the other members of the staff, so if you feel the need to talk, we'll listen. Thank you, sir. Ah, I literally can't decide if the kids are like cute or creepy. <laughs> is that the point? Is that the point is that they're both cute and creepy? Because sometimes he's oh, like okay. a little cutie. And other times I'm like, you're demonic. It's nearly time. Shall we go down? No, I want to climb this whole ass tree. Like a little squirrel boy. <laughs> What is he thinking about jumping off? Oh, good. So he's like part cute, part creepy child who jumped off a tree. Why'd you do it? Just for me for the right kid. What was that? I didn't jump. I fell. You did not. So you certainly to. jumped, young sir. Why are you lying? Why the fuck you lied? Oh. If you ever need anything, only if you may. Okay? Aw, cutie! What a cute little good friend. <laughs> they, he was being so nice to him! Why is he trying to, like, tr t throat punch this kid? Are you okay? Can you breathe? Yes. Okay. Oh my god, he almost killed this other child. What the fuck? Why are you acting out? Good. Miles, I want to help you, but I need you to help me. None of us are blameless. Except the soul that's not yet conceived and the animals. Like Pidge over there. The animals have they're souls the animals. and they have no original sin because they're pure it beings. Wasn't fair, was it? I mean, that stands to reason. I, I appreciate that sentiment. Oh, well. Saw that child sneaking back there. Is it Miles? <laughs> what you've done, Meta, it can't be minimized. It can't be avoided by not talking about it or by you being sent home. I, oh my god, I don't know. This is like so far beyond me, like, ever being in this position. Like, I would not, like, either side. And I'm just like, Realistically, what would you do? I'd be like, okay, this child needs like therapy. I, you need to go home. Like, you need to go away. It follows you. I'm sorry. I know you are, Miles. I know that, and I also know that together you I'm and I. Sorry, I didn't do worse. Cut off its head. Spread out the insides. I'm sorry. That is like the beginnings of a serial killer. Okay, we know this from watching many a true crime documentary. That is like a serial killer right there. I didn't do worse. And you did find your key. That's all. What does that mean? What key? So, the reason for Miles' expulsion was difficult to pin down. Only the letter from Flora, delivered when he arrived, forgotten in the dormitory, would offer a possible clue as to why he tried so so hard to be sent home i still can't tell if i like the child or not i don't do i no maybe i don't like that one i don't like that one specifically that little doll with the baby's head spick and span <laughs> nice how are they doing perfectly Oh my god, give me more of them. I can't. I already got one interaction. I'm like... <laughs> I could get used to this. But you can't give him a pass for Ivana. But can you clean up after him? Owen feeds him. Rebecca. Rebecca coddles him. But this one... This one's got him doing hard labor. Oh, come on. Now. Yes. <laughs> Good. Yes. We love this moment for them right now. They're sitting there just appreciating how Danny is a particularly good caretaker and they're accepting her into the fold and we love to see it but that's where we're gonna stop and we'll see you guys back here for more in part two